President Trump returns to Texas to survey the damage that was left behind from Hurricane Harvey. Later, he'll check out the damage in Louisiana. The president is asking Congress for an initial $7.8 billion for recovery efforts there. Don Champion is in Houston, where some residents are returning home, but others could continue to face even more flooding. Amen. Just tell us where to go. Across parts of southeast Texas, volunteers are now helping flood victims clean out their homes. Howard Holmes admitted starting over is already overwhelming. You can't stop. You have to keep going. Because if you stop, you lose that head of steam. President Trump will visit the storm ravaged region today, a day after he asked Congress for $8 billion in initial federal disaster relief for Hurricane Harvey victims. Even as more help arrives, floodwaters continue to threaten thousands. You need to understand about the possibility that you could be impacted by flooding waters in the coming days. In Beaumont, where Harvey made a second landfall earlier this week, the city is still without access to clean water. Now bottled water being brought in is gone almost as quickly as it's delivered. It's a not a good situation. We've been in line every day at all of the different stores buying water uh, because we unfortunately are in line in time to get the free water. Here in Houston, most of the flood water is expected to recede by the end of the weekend. The police chief here has been traveling across the city thanking officers who carried out countless rescues. Can't sleep, can't sleep, can't sleep, knowing, knowing that you have uh, people out there in, in danger. None of us have been able to sleep. Other problems continue to plague the region, including more fires at a chemical plant where flooding cut power to generators that cooled volatile chemicals. Don Champion for CBS3 Eyewitness News.